The project Technologies for African Agricultural Transformation is a project which aims at scaling up orange fresh sweet potato in selected African countries with the objective of making sure that we promote the production, uh, processing, as well as utilization of orange sweet potato in these countries. The, the project is targeting smallholder farmers because these are the people who are suffering from food insecurity, malnutrition and poverty. And specifically we are targeting youth and women because these are the people who do not have employment and they have got very uh, scarce means of finding ways of generating income to improve their, 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 their households. Sweet potatoes, they are part and parcel of our daily meals. Right from our tender age, our communities have been uh, eating sweet potatoes. But of late, we've seen the new orange fresh sweet potato coming on, onto the market, as well as into our own households. Uh, we have a number of varieties, and we, as I speak, we normally produce vines as well as tubers from nine varieties of orange fresh sweet potatoes. And actually we've moved away from the traditional sweet potato varieties. We no longer grow the, uh, the traditional sweet potatoes and we've now ventured into this orange fresh sweet potato vines and tubers. If you grow orange fresh potato and the cereals at the same time, the first crop to mature will be orange sweet potato because it matures some, from three months up to six months, it's already ready. Whereas the crops, other crops like cereals, at that time they are still growing. So at that time it means the families will have access to food much earlier than the, if they are growing cereals. But also, orange fruit potato has got more nutrients than the cereals, which means that some of the problems which people are suffering from, like malnutrition, can be solved if they are eating orange fruit potato. International Potato Center, they did provide us with the six varieties then. As time passed, uh, we had to be also informed as to how we can tender, take care, and look after those six varieties. We swiftly became a decentralized seed multiplier and multiplied the seed seedlings. And then uh, we started again uh, giving out to other farmers as well as selling. A year later on, we were introduced to the three latest varieties and that compounded to nine varieties, which at the meantime, we normally grow. SIP has been training government extension workers as well as NGOs who are spread throughout the country in order that there is continuity of the activities which currently SIP is doing right now, even after the project is over. SIP has been there for information sharing, and capacity building, as well as enhancing our productivity. SIP also acts as a bridge between us producers and buyers. So most of our sales has been generated through SIP. 